I've been waiting a while for the rain to let down a little bit and I think there's finally a break. So I'm gonna pack up everything and hit the trail. Good morning, or actually, good afternoon. <laughs> it's one o'clock, but this is the first time I'm talking to the camera. Last night I got into camp, as you saw, and it, it got dark immediately when I was there. So I was just kind of sitting by the campsite, eating my dinner, and all these mice just started running around, and I'd try to scare them, and then they'd get closer. So I ate as fast as I could, put my food up in the the bear pole or something and then went to bed it rained for i think a lot of the night then when i woke up it was raining but i checked the radar and it looked like there was going to be a break in the rain so as soon as the rain stopped i packed up camp and i think that was at maybe 9 30. so i've been hiking since then almost eight miles and the shenandoahs have very nice trails just and branches <laughs> little ups and downs and I keep crossing skyline drive and it's a nice little foggy sunday afternoon pretty sure i just got my first blister of the at this year so i stopped them and i put a little piece of tape on it i just ran into the woods to go to the bathroom and so many hikers walked by like you don't see anyone all day but as soon as it's that time like everyone comes out so i don't think anyone saw me <laughs> How is it three o'clock and this is the first water source I've seen all day? I am so thirsty. <laughs> I've had to ration my water a lot today and I wasn't even eating foods that would make me thirsty. Like I have a bunch of crackers that I didn't want to eat but now I, can, now I feel like I can go all out. <laughs> I just checked out the Dundo camping area over there. I thought maybe there'd be a building and I can charge my phone for a few minutes while I had a snack, but there wasn't much there. There was a dumpster, so I got rid of all my trash, which now my backpack is maybe like three ounces lighter. Uh, and there was a privy type thing, bathroom, uh, and then some water spigots with contaminated water. So I didn't take any, but it was, at least worth to checking out a little bit. It was right off the trail. There was a really dark cloud above me and I felt a couple raindrops so I just stopped and put on my full rain suit just in case it starts coming down strong. I looked at the weather app. It only shows rain for the next two hours so hopefully it clears up quick but yeah it's never fun when it just goes from nice and kind of sunny to super dark within a matter of seconds. <laughs> Well, 
water's been hard to find in the Shenandoah so far, so this little tiny trickle is gonna have to do. So I'm in a campground or something. I don't think it's open, but I did see a camp store on far out on the map. And I'm just gonna see if I can like sit there and charge my phone for a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going on an adventure, I guess. <laughs> it's, I don't know, 6.30 at night. I'll go around if you want. Oh. I'll just go this way. So I'm in this little structure thing. I just made my ramen. My phone is plugged into the wall. Uh, camp store is not open. There's no water. There's no bathrooms, but there's a trash can. So I'm just taking advantage of the little amenities while I can. Just gonna eat dinner here and then head back on the AT and find somewhere to camp. It is very windy out there, which is making me a little nervous for camping. So I hung out at that camp store for a while and I actually noticed that as I was leaving that a hiker was camped right outside of it, uh, but they were already in their tent and I didn't get to see them. I it kind of got in my head of like, I don't know where to camp tonight. And I started getting really nervous and scared. Uh, a big factor that plays into like where I decided to camp tonight is that I don't have a lot of food. So I didn't really pack that much food to go into the Shenandoahs because everyone was talking about, oh, like you don't have to bring that much food. You're gonna pass a wayside every day. There's gonna be so many camp stores. You can just buy the food as you go. And last time I hiked all this, this area, they were all closed because I was so early in the season. But this year, I'm hiking a little bit later in the season and just like word on the trail is that they were all open. So I just kind of went along with that without doing my own research, which was a big mistake because right now I only have one day's worth of food um, and no dinners. I just had my last ramen. So I have a bunch of oatmeal, I have a bunch of protein bars, and a couple little snacks, but that's it. It's definitely not enough to last me through the rest of the Shenandoahs. So with all that said, <laughs> there is a wayside about one mile ahead of me on trail, and that opens at nine, and I think I can get some snacks there. I'm not completely sure what they sell, but it's gonna be something. So I didn't want to hike past that. So I actually just backtracked a little bit to this campground, which is not open, but I'm just gonna think I can kind of stealth camp. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of sites. So I picked this one. It has a bear vault, which I'm super pumped. And it's number 44, which is my mom's favorite number. So I'm taking that as a sign that this is a good idea. I didn't really want to stealth camp anywhere by myself in the Shenandoahs because this area is known for a lot of bear activity. So the fact that I can camp next to a bear vault just puts my mind at ease just a little bit more. So I'm thankful for that. I already ate dinner, like you saw. I'm just gonna set up my tent and get inside. It's incredibly windy. So I just wanna get warm and sheltered and there's no like whittle makers above me. It's actually pretty clear. Um, I got a view of the moon and stuff. So I think it's gonna be a good night. Uh, originally I wanted to wake up tomorrow super early and hike my first 30 mile day this year, but I don't think that's gonna happen because I wanna get to that wayside and it doesn't open till nine, so. Maybe I can do that and still manage a 30 mile day, but probably not. We'll see. Just hopped in my tent. I think it's on the slant and I feel very crammed. Uh, it's very chaotic in here. I don't know if you can see it, but because it's on a slant, I actually put some logs from the campfire um, under my tent at, to kind of act like bumpers for my sleeping pad so it doesn't like shift in the night, which 
I thought was a good idea, um, but we'll see. It seems to be working for now. But yeah, I just gotta get my sleeping bag out of my backpack and get all cozy up and call it a night. <laughs>